Hello guys, my name is LCDJ. Today we are watching the Motel Animated. I'm suspecting this this is a um a horror animation. Only because this is made by Llama Arts, who did like various creepy pastas. So god, that's very wow, wow. Like various things. Um like animated all the scary stories from Mr. Nightmare, or something like that. Um, and as always, let's start the video. Oh yeah, I would just like to point out that, uh, I don't live alone, so you will hear noise in the background. Um, I don't own this, <laughs> obviously. And, yeah. Hmm. And I've never watched this before, so this mu this will be interesting. And I will turn out the volume, just in case. Okay. So maybe I was 19 years old at the oh. time working at a sketchy motel. The motel was pretty run down, and the majority of people who stayed there were locals that were just doing things they weren't supposed to be doing. Oh God! Let's just say the cops came by multiple times a week. Jesus! I worked as both a front desk person checking in these creeps all hours of the night, and as a housekeeper who got to clean up their nasty, vomit-smelling rooms afterwards. Oh, oh, this is One a girl. One afternoon, I was working as a housekeeper in the second building of the motel on the backside furthest from the office. I hated working over there because it not only had the most worn-down rooms, but it was always pretty vacant over there and way too quiet for comfort. Wow. I began okay. cleaning one of my last rooms and wanted to get done in a hurry because it was getting late. I, I, I was watching wonder... the mirror in the room that I was cleaning when all of a sudden, I saw a man in the reflection staring at me. He was mid-fifties, dirty, with long, greasy hair. Startled, I screamed, oh my god. I told him he scared me. The room I was currently cleaning was vacant, so there was no reason why this man should have been in there watching me clean. However, we just had a meeting on customer satisfaction, and my boss was really pressuring us to be more polite and help the guests any way we could. Uh, sir? I asked him cautiously. Uh, can I get you anything? Towels? The man just stared back at me with a crooked grin and held out his hands to me. I thought maybe he was handing me a tip for cleaning his room earlier, but when I looked down, I saw he was holding a hundred dollar bill. Alarm oh, started oh going no. off in my head. Oh no. No one tips a hundred dollars on a forty dollar oh, room. The man just smiled and said his name was Terry. He said he was staying in the room next door with his wife Sherry and sort of joked about their names rhyming. He smelled like car oil and alcohol. Oh god. When I asked him why he was trying to hand me a hundred dollars, he laughed deep in his throat and said, Me and my wife were watching you, and we just wanted to have fun with you. Mm -hmm. Um, no, I, I can't do that, sir, I'm sorry. I wanted to run out of the room screaming, but he was blocking the door, my only exit. The man smiled again, taking on a softer tone of voice, and invited me to come into his room to meet his wife, just to talk as friends. I nervously told him no again, and that I had a lot of work to do for the day. I prayed to God he would just go away, and eventually he did. He grunted and walked off in what I assumed to be the direction of his room. Oh my god. My mind began This racing. is no joking. There is no this wife, is, I thought. This man could try well, and kidnap me. This is serious stuff. This is not anything to joke about. Um... Wow, that that's kind of is scary. Like, imagine that you're cleaning, and all of a sudden you see this man, and he tips you a hundred dollars for stuff, and you don't want to, and then he just leaves the room. But it's scary in this situation because you don't know if he left or not. Let's continue. I was one hundred and ten pounds at the time, and not very strong. He could easily overpower me. I locked the room directly to the phone to call my manager at the front desk, but the phone wasn't working. Adrenaline began pumping through my veins, and despite what I was always told not to do, I was panicking. Did he cut the line? No, I thought. This is, this is a crappy motel. It happens all the time. But I just have to get out. I remembered that I had my cell phone out on my housekeeping card, oh, but that no. was outside the locked door. I'd have to open the door to get it. I cautiously opened the door to the room that I was cleaning and peered out. I didn't see anyone, so I frantically began searching my cart for my cell phone. I was wasting too much time looking for it, so I just decided to run as fast as I could and make a break for the front desk in the office. 
Then from behind me, I heard the man again, but this time he was screaming to someone else, she's running, she's getting away. I could hear his shoes slamming against the pavement after me. I quickly turned the corner, grabbed my key card, and let myself into a stock room and locked the door. Within moments, I heard the sound of the dirty guy and someone else running outside, searching for me. I stayed in that stock room for 30 minutes, shaking, until I could no longer hear him searching for me. I finally got the courage to run the rest of the way to the front desk. When I made it there, I collapsed into my boss's arms and he called the police. The man and whoever else was in the room with him peeled out before the cops could arrive, and I was beyond shaken up. According to the police who ran a search, this wasn't the first time he had done something like this, and he was actually wanted for sexual assault, oh God. sexual imposition, and in the past was once charged with rape. A few weeks later, on what happened to be my birthday, this guy was caught. A few weeks after that, I quit. I will never again work at another motel. <laughs> I wonder why. Well, this was a Halloween thing short. I thought it was really nice. Hope you guys enjoy your day.